Mahamurti ji, please speak. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk on this bill. Let me remember India's Bhishma Pitamaha, Humi Babaji, and then continue this one. Sir, for Vikshit Bharat 2047, we require energy independence. Without energy, nothing is possible. Sun is another source of energy. I call nuclear energy the another source of, and a great source of energy. That's the reason the folk story says when Neil Bohr first time saw the nuclear energy, he said, Aham Brahmasmi. It's the story, or it may not be true, but this is what I've heard. So there are many ways to get energy. One is hydro, second one is coal, third one is wind, fourth one is uh, uh, nuclear energy. Sir, in, in uh, solar, sir, in solar energy, you do generate a lot of energy, but you cannot store as of today for a long time. And after you know, two, three decades of time, when it goes, it's not working. It's very difficult to, it is very difficult to uh, discard that. That is the main problem in that. In case of hydro energy, olden days it was easy. Today, with the new geopolitics, building a dam is not that easy, and with the climate change, getting the water and using that water is not that easy, and it is not for a large energy. Coming to coal, yes, coal energy, you can use it, but it gives you a lot of coal emission, which is not good for the environment, so it is not really recommended, but if there is no other go, we have to use. Next comes wind energy. Wind energy has a limitation. It is intermittent. All the time, you don't get good wind. Second thing, transmission is a problem. When looking at all these points, the more, as of today, given, given set of circumstances, nuclear energy, power generation through nuclear generation, gen energy through nuclear po power, it is more acceptable. I don't say it's the best, but it is more acceptable in today's scenario. Sir, I just want to refer one point which my honorable colleague made that East India Company came and it all happened. Sir, even the same history I want to refer and tell him. East India Company did come in 1630 by that time and they established a small shop in Surat, but India was not what India is today. Today's India is entirely different. We are all one today. Even though we fight in the, all these things, on a lighter side, we are all Indians, irrespective of the state. It is not easy to open a shop again in Surat or any, any trade, and they can occupy India. It is not possible. Sir, privatization is not... Everybody thinks privatization is bad. No, sir, privatization is not a bad word. Because of privatization, we are creating wealth. Because we are creating wealth, there is a reduction in the poverty. There are a lot more opportunities in privatization. The quality of the material in colonization is always good. So I am all for the privatization. Sir, we are all grew up, at least my generation has grown up. The moment you think of Japan, World War II, think of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, there was a big bomb, and then we always think the, the effect of that, many generations, etc. But we never think the use of uh, nuclear energy in, in other way. That means it can be used in medicine, in agriculture, in, in many, many other fields. It is like, a, in a way, the Kalparuksha, I say, in a modern medicine, and all those things we are using. So it brings hope. It brings new nuclear energy, brings hope. It brings peace, and that is an apt name, sir. You have given us the Shanti Bill because it is the source of peace and hope for a better future. <laughs> sir, India is a vast uranium reserve, and it's sustainable in the long-term solution, and it will take a little more time to do that. Sir, people say we should have, uh, new, uh, we should have um, public sector to do this one. Jai Ramji is not here. Sir, Public sector, you require a lot of money. How to finance that? That's the reason privatization is needed. And it is not that you have to give everything to them. There's a control privatization is there. It is partially private, and main control is still with the government. So we should not worry, oh, it goes, it becomes individual one, and we can't do anything. No, don't do that. Let us start always with a positive mind, with hope, and we'll do this one. Sir, if we want to do we want to go to Prime Minister Dream, Vixit Bharat 2047, then we require power at that time. 
today the installed power generation through nuclear energy is only 8.8 .8 gigawatt but we have to achieve 100 gigawatt and to get 100 gigawatt it won't happen in one day one year one decade it's not possible it is 2025 and the 23 years are left and we have to start somewhere sometime the first step and if we start building now or a 23 years of time it requires time it requires uh, technology it requires a lot of planning it requires so many other sources of energy so we have to start new privatization this bill so that we'll be able to get 100 gigawatt of energy at 2047 there's nothing wrong that you know of course we have to consider our our uh, swadeshi everything is right but there is nothing wrong in looking around for the best practices around the world rugveda says ano bhadrani the very famous saying it says let all noble thoughts come from all sides of the world and we will accept the best in that and according to our situation we should modify and use it there's nothing wrong so there are many countries like uk may not be much in there but france uh, japan korea and uh, america of course germany has a different strategy that is the, their own country strategy we will not take into that there are five countries for example i am taking and every country has some best practices like france has uh, uh, re, uh, re, it is using the waste as a resource again and korea has uh, a standard modularization america is completely um, uh, uh, privatized with 80 percent so for our country what is the best as of today we should use and in the process i want to give a small suggestions that we should also use the waste as resource like france and we should also modular make a model in such a way that it should be standardized so that it becomes easy to operate third one sir we can have a robust regulatory system with the atomic energy regulated board where safety is above the profit sir i would really like to recommend this uh, i would like to recommend this bill because it helps to grow it helps to innovate you know innovate and it makes us dependable the small module reactor save time space and it can be closer to the work area unlike before sir there is a very famous saying how we should implement this we can implement this with the affection of a mother and the discipline of a scientist so that we are benefited and we should go ahead thank you very much sir giving me generous time jai hind vande matar thank you honorable kr suresh reddy ji deputy chairman